I choose to be still and let God love me. I choose to trust God and let him take over. He'll heal my wounds, complete my healing. I choose to let go and let God heal me. I choose to forgive, to be set free. Amen, amen, amen. I choose to be set free, do you? Praise be to God that we can be set free from any bondage, any pain, any trauma from our past. Glory be to God. Hello, my dear friends and family. How are you all doing today? What a glorious day that the Lord has made. Amen. Amen. Behind me today, I have violets. Yes, violets from the Netherlands. Yeah, aren't they beautiful? There's two colors in one flower, it's yellow and, and this deep, uh, like a burgundy color. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yes, the Dutch loves flowers and they have beautiful flowers. Tulips come from them too. Have you seen a field of tulips? Well, I'll have to find a picture, an image for you. <laughs> All right, let's get started with today's word with Joel and Victoria. The scripture today is from Jeremiah 30, 17. NKJV. I will restore health to you and heal your wounds, says the Lord. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. The title of this devotional is Restoration. We all go through disappointments, things we didn't see coming, a breakup, a setback in our finances, an illness. It's easy to accept and think that's that's just the way it's going to be. But God saw what happened. He didn't say he wouldn't go, we wouldn't go through challenges, but he did promise that he will restore and heal. God is a God of restoration. You may have experienced a loss, but that's not how your story ends. Don't judge your situation too soon. The loss is only temporary. You're going to get it all back. The joy, the peace, the health, the strength, the family, the dreams. The beauty of our God is that even when we make mistakes, even when we bring trouble upon ourselves, God doesn't say, too bad for you. I would restore you if you had performed better. I would have helped you if you had been committed. God is full of mercy. And when he says it's time to restore, all the forces of darkness cannot stop him. He is going to suddenly thrust you into restoration. Oh, amen, amen, amen. I receive that. You receive it, receive it. Praise be to God. Thank you, Father, that you do not judge us, but you love us and you have your... You have mercy. Thank you. Thank you for your mercy. All right. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, wow, you are amazing. We thank you, Lord, that in times of disappointment, Lord, that you don't, and when we don't see a way, you don't, you don't just leave us. You let us know that you will fulfill your promise, that you will restore and you will heal us. God, thank you so much for your goodness to us. You will turn things around and we will get everything coming back to us that we've missed. Father, we believe that all the forces of darkness cannot stop you. Your will will be done. And we receive all that you have for us. We ask of all these things in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen and amen. All right, my dear brothers and sisters, until tomorrow. Tatsins!